It has been moved to adopt Resolution 4602. Remarks, the good lady from the 47th, Representative Entman. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I stand here before you today because of the sacrifices of my mother, my grandmother, and a man who, of faith who fought for justice. I grew up in Rainer Vista, a low-income housing project in Seattle. My mother did not have a college degree, but she inspired me to greater things. My grandmother moved here from Louisiana so that my mother could attend college at Western Washington University. I was lucky to have a family that loved me and a community that supported me. My educational opportunities began in the inaugural class of Seattle King County Head Start. My mom also was encouraged to continue her education through both being a part of the parent council and volunteering in the classroom in Head Start. From those opportunities, she was afforded a scholarship paid for in part by Seattle Public Schools so they could diversify their teaching force. My mom went on to be an educator in Seattle Public Schools for 27 years. My passion for education also grew as a student at Franklin High School in a lawn society class taught by a teacher by the name of Rick Nagel. He taught me about Brown versus the Board of Education, the unfair and unequal treatment of people of color who wanted to attain an education in this country, and he ignited the fire in me to fight that injustice. Today, my entire family is blessed. Blessed because of Dr. King's fight for injustice, blessed because of the efforts of my mother and my grandmother. I have a nephew who teaches at Bellevue College, teaching sociology and African American studies. My niece is the lead demographer in Seattle Public Schools with a PhD from UCLA. My son is a computer science engineer with a degree from the University of Washington. And my daughter is a Tacoma firefighter with an undergraduate degree from Emory University in Economics and International Business and a master's degree from Embry-Riddle University in Supply Chain Logistics. None of this would have happened without the work of Dr. Martin Luther King. He said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Not because justice is inevitable, only because good, good will prevail when everyday people stand up and fight. Dr. King knew that evil could win. That is why he stood up and fought against a social system that held people down. He stood up against the political system that had tried to silence him and many others. He stood up because he felt he had a responsibility not just to black people, but to all in our society who are oppressed. He was called a troublemaker. He was called militant. He was called an uppity Negro. In response, Dr. King said, the question is not whether we will be extremist, but what kind of extremist will we be? Will we be extremists for hate or an extremist for love? What kind of extremist will we be? I choose love, extreme love, even when I am told to be quiet, even when I am told that this is not my place, even when I am told that this is not my time. Our challenge today is to choose love, to be extreme in our devotion to each other and to our common cause of bending that arc toward justice. Not just for us, but for our children and grandchildren, 
so that they can continue to seek that dream of equality and opportunity for all children living in these United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.